Hey everyone, Reese Team here. It's a uh, Yokai Day Friday. I apologize for this video being so late. It is because I have uh, been come addicted to Pocket Card Jockey on the 3DS. Uh, definitely worth it to get it. Um, anyways, um, I'm here to, I'm, today. I'm going to be talking about the Yokai Watch manga, specifically Volume Five. The volume 5 introduces, let's see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 yokai that aren't even available in the first game. Uh, and it might give us a clue as to how they're going to deal with the second games when they come over here. Uh, for example, the best one I think to use is Happy Kane. Uh, Mandrake yokai, who's happy no matter what. Uh, he apparently got swept away to Springdale and had his head bitten. Uh, there we go. What's interesting is that Whisper specifically refers to him as being from Okinawa, Japan. Obviously, in the Japanese manga, they'd have no reason to attack Japan onto the end. It would just be from Okinawa. Uh, so, I assume in the original manga, he got flipped away from Okinawa to another one of the islands. But in our version, he got swept away from Okinawa in Japan all the way to Springdale, which is somewhere in the U.S. Uh, and this may give us a clue as to how they're going to deal with the second games. As the second games in Japan revolve around the past and present of the yokai. Or rather the past and present of Springdale specifically. Uh, since that's not going to work out well in the US. They may still do it this way, but they may try to avoid the uh, Japanese village in California issue that Phoenix Wright has. Uh, They might instead do it as uh, a different, as a related uh, city in Japan, like a parent city, and the modern Springdale. After all, parent cities are a thing that exists. Uh, New York is, of course, uh, the child city of uh, York in uh, England. Uh, so it, there's precedent for it, and that, and that would also allow for the shrine to still make sense, being in Springdale and everything. Uh, and if you've read American Gods, uh, it might be a similar situation with how the yokai come over, uh, with uh, people just bringing them over with their beliefs. And it helps that a lot of the uh, yokai that are seen in the first game are ones that are relatively modern. Uh, obviously, uh, Jibayan's not, and Whisper we know has a specific history. Uh, but, uh, but yeah. So, uh, this not only does is this a possibility for the second games, but it might give us a clue as to how they'll deal with the third games as well, uh, where in Japan the third game is uh, them going to America. It's a possibility that they may just change to being uh, just exploring America outside of Spring. Uh, this manga does introduce a pelican who will show up in the second game. A yokai who uh, shoots you with his gun and makes you extremely Americanized. Uh, so, and this goes in all different places. Uh, let me see if I can't find his story in here. Uh, here we go. So, uh, this is what happens for, uh, Nate and Whisper. Which is, a uh, pretty common, uh, parody of America in, uh, 
Japanese anime, and you know, you can see where to get it from, honestly. And, uh, so, yeah, um, so, in the Japanese version, obviously, a pelican is a yokai from America that came to Japan. It's possible, and the way it's set up in the, in the, the transliteration of the manga makes me suspect that this is the case. Uh, in the U.S., a pelican is going to be native to Springdale, or rather, native to the U.S. still, but... Springdale will still be a part of the U.S., and it will be the older classic yokai that are coming to Springdale from Japan instead. Uh, there's no guarantee that this is what it will be, I'm just uh, guessing based off of the way the manga was transliterated. And I'm saying transliterated because it's not a direct translation. It has been adapted for the U.S. like everything else yokai wants. Level 5 has definitely been uh, on point with this, with uh, how they want to do things. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to talk about today. I just uh, want to uh, give some ideas as to uh, possible clues the manga might be giving. Um, also, we are almost done with the, ma with the first manga. I'm hoping they'll bring the second one over. Uh, especially since I'm hoping to, that they'll bring Katie's watch over. I'm not sure they will, though. Um, anyways. Uh, also, anyways, I also want to mention, um, and, uh, this, uh, there are five volumes of this manga out now. Tomorrow is free comic book day. I do know that a lot of comic book shops now do carry manga. Um, so, it might be worth going to your local comic book store, uh, see if they have anything there that interests you, manga, comic, board game, whatever, uh, and you'll get a free comic from them. Um, I know I will be going there to my local shop tomorrow, and I will definitely be, uh, picking something up, because I like to support that store, they are very nice there, and, uh, yeah, that's uh, all for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, let me know what else you'd like to see on this channel. Uh, if possible, I will try to do it. And uh, as always, I will see you guys next time. And, and have a great time wherever you may be. Bye, guys.